Hello everyone, this is Dan from Design Plus Code, and today I'm going to show you how to work with the Angle Library in Sketch. So let's begin. Let's start in a new Sketch file, and over there we need to add one of the Angle Libraries. So let's go to Sketch Preferences, and over there make sure that you're in the Libraries tab. Then go to the bottom of the window, and you can click on Add Library. So what's a library? Maybe you will ask if you're new in Sketch. A library is just another sketch file that contains different elements. Elements like icons, colors, mockups, you name it. Elements that we think that we can reuse them across all our future projects. So that's why it's handy to work with libraries, because you can have access to all these elements just with a few clicks. Now we can select this sketch file and then click on open. Let's wait for a couple of seconds and boom, now we have a new library. Now we can add some of the elements of this library. To do so, let's go to insert and over there on the symbol section, let's choose angle tree library comps. Then we can choose compositions and we can select composition 12. Okay, nice. As you can see, we have all the different variations of the latest iPhone. Now we want to add some art to these mockups. To do so, we need to add some artboards first. So I will press the letter A on my keyboard and you will see in the right side of my screen, a list of all the different artboards I can use. So in this case, I will choose iPhone 11 Pro. Let's drag a little bit to the right our artboard so we can see it. Now, hold the Alt key and just drag the artboard to the right so you can copy it three more times. Now we are all set. So what we need to do next is to go to our documents and over there, we need to select all these images and add them to our artboards. So I will just drag and drop them to the canvas and over there, I will just resize the different images so they can fit the artboard. I will just fast forward this part. Now that we have everything in place, let's change the names of our artboards. So I will start with this one and I will call it screen one. Then I will select the next and I will call it screen two. Then this other one, screen three, and the last one, screen four. Okay, perfect. Now let's select the composition and let's go to plugins. Over there, let's select angle and then apply mockup or you can use the shortcut command backslash. Once you will click there, you will see that a new window will pop up. So as you can see, we have like a small menu where you can select the artboard, the pixel density and the quality. In our case, for the first artboard, we will leave it like that. For the second artboard, we can choose screen two. For the third, we can choose screen three. And for the last one, screen four. Okay, nice. Then we can hit apply. And voila, we just apply all our different art in our composition just in a few clicks. All right, so there is one more thing that I would like to share with you guys. If you would like to have an easy access to all your symbols or libraries, so you can customize your toolbar. And this is how. Let's go to the toolbar and just right click anywhere. Then choose customize toolbar. Over there you will see different items that you can add to your toolbar. So let's look for symbols and just drag and drop it to your toolbar. There you go. Now let's go back to our canvas and let's click on symbols. And over there you can see we have our new library. So you can choose angle tree library comps, then go to compositions and choose composition number 24. Okay, great. I will select the composition and then I will use the shortcut command backslash and a new window will pop up over there for the first artboard. I will choose screen number three and the same thing for the second and third. Then I will hit apply and there you go. So this is the end of the video. If you guys like it, please give us the thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, please don't forget to put it in the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Bye.